permits posted on short-term rentals. It's required by the New Orleans ordinance. Some say the paperwork makes the homes and the people renting them easy targets for thieves. But Jared Munster directs the, the Office of Safety and Permits. We do not believe that those concerns are absolutely true. You know, just because there's a placard that says somebody may be renting this, it doesn't also indicate that this building may be vacant. It's good and bad. Angela Murtaugh owns several short-term rentals and says there's a good reason owners have stayed silent. Short-term rental homeowners are afraid to speak out because it was illegal for so long and everybody was doing it from doctors to lawyers and everything like that, but they didn't want to kind of expose themselves. Now that it's legal, I feel like we need to take a bigger stand. She says homes that are not owner occupied are at especially high risk of being broken into because they can only be rented for 90 days. That means my property would be vacant 275 days out of the year. And that's just, that's a target, not only for my property, but for tourists and families when they come and visit. The city says that hasn't happened yet, and with over 4,000 people applying for short-term rental permits so far, the city has no plans to change the rules on posting those permits in public view.